Welcome to the demo of the Alchemy module for Drupal. My name is Tom Kraken, and I'm going to be walking you through how Alchemy can help you better and more easily tag your content. Alchemy is a general web service that extracts information from content. The Drupal integration of the Alchemy services focuses on three types of information extraction. The first is keywords. This is where uh, Alchemy looks at the content that you might have on a node and comes back with various phrases that it thinks is being emphasized inside of that content. The second type are entities. It's pulling out keyword phrases, but it's putting context around them as far as them, they might be people or places or companies or different types of organizations. The third type is concepts, and concepts is actually something pretty interesting it does because these are not necessarily keyword phrases that it finds in the content, but when it sees certain types of repetitious patterns, then it can says, oh, I think that this content is about this particular concept. An example might be if you saw a, if you wrote a node that had uh, Bill Clinton and uh, Obama and uh, President Bush, and it might actually not even say the presence of the United States, but Alchemy can come back and say, oh, this node is about the concept, the presence of the United States. The Alchemy module itself actually is, a, is an API that primarily is working with the Alchemy service and then provides outputs to three other modules in Drupal. Those modules are the content analysis, the tagging module, and the auto tagging module. Kind of see how this works. Let's go ahead and start off with the content analysis module. Here we are on a node edit page where I have both the Alchemy module and the content analysis module turned on. I already have some content put in about mountain biking, and so we can scroll down to the content analysis area of the page, and you see that we have these check boxes on whether we want concepts, entities, or keywords. I'm going to go ahead and leave all three of them checked and do a quick analysis of the content. So what's happening right now is the uh, content analysis module is sending this information over the content in the node over to Alchemy, and Alchemy sends back this data. And so if we look at, we can see the keywords, and it, it extracted several different keywords from our content and gives us some relevancy scores. It also has created some concepts. Um, and so these are things that are not necessarily keywords, but things that uh, it thinks that it might find. So for example, bicycle suspension is not a keyword phrase. It's actually in the content anywhere. But because the, con because the uh, content is about bicycles and biking and suspension, it's extracting that as a concept. And then it extracted several entities. Uh, Cedric Garcia, which is a famous mountain biker. Um, Leadville, which is actually, it's extracting as a city. It's actually a very famous, it's a city, but it's also a very famous mountain bike race in Lance Armstrong. Um, it did extract a North Shore improperly, um, but it, does, it, it, it can only do so much. But ultimately, it did a pretty good job of identifying that there are some important cities and some people within this content. The, the obvious application for this type of technology is to help you tag your notes. Um, and of course, tagging is something that's built into the taxonomy system. Um, and when you implement a tagging vocabulary, then you go and you need to type in all your tags. And a lot of times, it'd be just nice if something would help you come up with what should be your tags by, by looking at your content. One of my favorite modules for this is a module called the auto tagging module. Um, that, that basically set up a taxonomy, and instead of you typing things in, whenever you submit the node, it extracts information using various different services um, from your node content. The standard auto-tagging module, sub-modules, uh, has one for extracting from Yahoo Terms, um, Tag the Net, and Open Calais. Well, Yahoo, Yahoo Terms extraction I generally find to not be that high a quality. Um, tag the net is uh, I'm not super familiar with, but I haven't gotten quite tuned in as well as I like Alchemy. And Open Calais is great, but Open Calais tends to be more around new. It's very focused around news, and so that what. Uh, the Alchemy module is doing is it adds a fourth option that I find works better for sort of general SEO and for general content. So let's take a quick look at how this module works. So here we are back on our Drupal website and I've just enabled the auto tagging module. Let's go ahead and look at the configuration for the auto tagging module. First thing we want to do is we want to select a vocabulary to be working with in order to put the auto tags into. And uh, auto tagging will work with any vocabulary that uh, has the auto tag selector set in the taxonomy settings. If we look down at the alchemy field set down here, what we see is that we can select the types of con the types of terms that we want to put into the auto tagging. And so we can use concepts, entities, or keywords. We also can select a minimal relevancy. Uh, if we were to go off all of these, if we set our minimum relevancy to zero and had all three checked, we'd end up with quite a few keywords. These settings might work pretty well for us, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave them the way they are. Now I'm going to run back over to our node here. 
click edit, and of course we see that our, our auto tagging uh, vocabulary is empty. All I have to do instead of having to type a bunch of stuff in, all I have to do is go down and click save. And now we see that we have tags. Uh, so these are all the tags from Alchemy that were in, in an entity, a concept, or a keyword that were above a 50% of relevancy. If we go back to our edit, we now see that our tagging field is full of tags. Now maybe you don't want your nodes automatically tagged. You just like something that's going to help you uh, help you tag with a little bit more ease so you don't have to think everything yourself. That's really where the tagging module comes in. Um, and really the tagging module is pretty much a UI modification. Uh, it just makes it easier to do tagging. Actually, it's, it's in uh, Drupal Commons if you use that distribution. So it's starting to become pretty popular. And uh, let's take a look at how that works. So here we are back on our note edit page. And as you can see, our tagging field looks a little bit different. Um, and this is actually what the tagging module does, is you get this nice looking sort of Ajax, JavaScript, sort of Web 2.0 version of tagging. And so we just start typing things in, um, say, bike, we click the add button, and we can add keywords this way. Um, and this is well and good, although in reality, it's not much different than the way tags work before. We still have to think of them all ourselves. The tagging module does have a solution for this, um, where it can give you suggestions, but most of the suggestions, the, the different the mechanisms that are built in, they don't really look at your content and come back with keywords that are relevant to your content. They're looking at fixed vocabularies and some other things. They're useful in some situations, but there's times where we want to be tagging based on what's in our content. So what we'll add is, what I'm going to enable is the last module of the uh, sub-module of the Alchemy suite and the Alchemy Tagging Suggestions module. Um, and so now if I do a refresh on this, what we're going to see now is now I have a whole bunch of suggestions that have come back from Alchemy um, that I can just start clicking on and easily add in. And so this kind of gives us a nice hybrid between the auto tagging, which just accepted everything, and the tagging module that just allow, it gives us a quick list that we can easily click on um, and click Submit. Now the last variant I want to show you is what happens when we combine the content analysis version of the Alchemy module along with the keyword research module. We get some kind of interesting advanced functionality that's kind of fun to play with and very valuable. Let's take a look at what we get here. For those not familiar with the keyword research module, what this module basically does is it brings in statistics about keywords. So for example, it looks at uh, what are the most popular keywords people are searching for online given a particular seed keyword. Um, and so this does some pretty interesting, gives some interesting capabilities to uh, the Alchemy module. So in, in our example, I've gone ahead and installed the keyword research module. So now we see we have two analyzers down in the content analysis area, Alchemy and Keyword Research. I'm going to click on this, and you see that we get the same listings of keywords that we had before. We now have this keyword research where we type in and get some information. But the one thing the keyword research module has done is it's added this JavaScript functionality to our keywords. Um, and so this first icon allows us to basically do a keyword report. So if I see this mountain biking and I want to explore it more as a keyword, I can just click this button and the keyword research module is going to come back with a bunch of statistics for me. And so what it's looking at is saying, well, roughly how many times a day is uh, mountain biking being searched? What are some other popular variants of this word that people are searching for? And so I see that downhill mountain biking is an important word, or mountain biking trails and those kinds of things. And those, those might be some things I might want to put uh, enter into my content and, and optimize around. Or they might be things I want to tag. And so if I want to tag, you, it, the keyword research module gives me another quick, quick shortcut that I can just click this button and it'll go ahead and tag a lot of these things. And we see when I close out of this that these keywords have been added to my tags up here. And so it's sort of another alternative way, um, but also gives you a lot of keyword research uh, that you wouldn't normally have. Um, using the tagging module kind of gives you another way of quickly adding and getting suggestions for adding tagging keywords. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this demo of the Alchemy module, and I hope it's given you some new ideas about ways that you can uh, more easily, quickly, and more intelligently tag content using some automated tools. So until next time, happy Drupaling!